All right, this will be a stateroom tour on board the Disney Wish of stateroom 7580. Again, 7580 stateroom tour on board the Disney Wish. We are going to enter as we always do. And there's two, of course, as the classic Disney split bathroom design. So we'll go in the first one on the left. Well, first let's look at the, the door here. So normal door, like any other Disney cruise ship people that you can actually cover up which is kind of cool i don't i don't know if the others have that i don't remember them having that um assembly station muster drill stuff or muster stuff no smoking room of course and like the dream and the fantasy you have to put your card in there or a card in there to activate the lights and everything like that and uh anyway light switches so first little difference i love the little detail here um well just a little detail on the door so this is the bathroom on the left and this is the actual toilet in here and everything like that and unlike the other ships there's no switches outside the rooms the bathrooms to turn on and off the lights those are actually inside and believe it or not when we started cruising i did not like them being on the outside because you're so used to a house or something like that and now i'm so used to them being on the outside i keep forgetting getting there on the inside but anyway let's go in first things first i will turn the lights on but this has a night light option on the floor there, which that is awesome. You can leave that on all night if you want. Um, so if you get up, have to use the restroom, which I'm sure most people do, you don't have to worry about blinding yourself with the actual bright light, because trust me, that does light it up enough at night. Um, but let's turn on the other light here, get a full view, let me turn off the night light. What I like too about all the switches on the Wish, unlike the other ships, these are labeled, so there's no confusion. Night and main, so that is cool. Um, normal, normal toilet, trash can under there, towels. I do like the sinks better on board this ship. I think the bathrooms on board the ship are definitely better. Um, not, instead of the round sinks, these are a little bigger. Nice faucet, normal soap, towel, racks for storage, more racks for storage, and two, call them coat hangers, but hangers. So let's back on out of here. New floors too, I like those. And where the shower's at now. Let's turn the light on here. Only one light switch in here. So let's just look at the real winner for this room. The shower, everyone knows without fail, the Disney dream and the Disney fantasy have terrible showers. Um, except unless you get one of the bigger showers with the round, the round tubs and the rainforest. Um, shower head on board the fantasy and the dream but this shower is just a default shower and look at this stand up shower you could actually be over five foot seven and not bump your head amazing instead of the curtains where water always got on the floor no matter what you did at least a little water actual doors that shut or a door that shuts here handle on the inside for safety just very very cool um, sink here, more storage here, uh, tissue, you got another towel, um, trash can, roll on up and we see these towels, and then some hangers right here, some for towels, coats, t-shirts, whatever you got, bathing suits. All right, it's been said and we do concur the storage on board the Wish is not as good as the other ships, but let's look at it. So I do like this, like on the uh, the Wonder and the Magic. When you open, okay, I have to push kind of hard and it kind of, there you go. The lights turn on automatically. So that is cool. They don't do it on board the Dream. We have not been on the Fantasy, but anyway, you can hang plenty of stuff up. Storage down there. Of course, when you open this one, this one automatically gets bumped open. Kind of odd, but what are you going to do? So there's shelving, a safe. This one has no light in it. And light should turn on. Robes, can't take them, but you can wear them. A uh, life vest up there. Storage room, and that's about that on that. And now the main room, main area, I guess. 
The Bed Runner is awesome. Disney, you need to sell these. You should have sold them when they were red. You should have sold them when they were blue on the other ships now. And this looks more like a, a I don't want to say pink, a peach color. Um, love them. Beds are great, very comfy, brand new. Love the artwork. We are in a Cinderella room, so artwork is awesome. We turned the lights on right now just to show you how the lights are on, but also at night, if you want, has reading lights. Right there. Switches for the lights. You got um, USB and European style plugs. Much bigger TV than on the other ships, which are tiny little TVs that are like around that area. However, these TVs do not telescope out at all. So you're stuck watching on the bed. If someone wants to watch TV with you, let's say you're in the bed, lying on the bed, someone's on the couch or whatever, the person on the couch is not gonna get a good view at all. So eh, I wish they could have done something about that. I'm sure the amazing Disney Imagineers could have, but they went with this for now. And maybe in 10 years when this gets in dry dock for a refit, they'll do something. But uh, still nice big TV, no issues with the size. If you're lying in bed, it's, it's perfect. But sitting over there, yeah, what are you going to do? So on this side, USB-C, regular, I guess, American plugs. I know I'm probably not calling them the right things. Um, USB-C um, is there as well. Drawers right there. I'll say this. We both agree with this, and it'll be in our main vlog. Um, if you're watching this on my channel, just kind of on its own, uh, go watch our actual vlogs. We're going to comment more, but the couch is very uncomfortable. Uh, brand new. It looks great, but it is extremely uncomfortable. Um, artwork above it's really cool, though. That's cool. And again, matches the theming of this room. This, I already said it, this is amazing. The, the head of the bed, it's just amazing. Um, going over here, trash can. Okay, th this is terrible. So remote is here. That's fine. But this is where your phone's at. Like, okay, so guess what? You want to get room service or there's a voicemail on it, which will blink red up here. You have to put your head in here, turn your flashlight on or something and see which one it is. Or, you know, forbid you have a medical emergency while you're sleeping in the bed. There's no phones there anymore. You'd have to actually get up, come all the way over here and probably fight with it at night. Because again... There's everything, and you almost have to jam your head in there. Not good, and I'm sure Disney will fix that eventually in a future update for the ship. But uh, tissue here, very cool, so you can move it around the room. Um, I also like, oh, the bathrooms also have this, but here's the big mirror in here. I do like mirror light. How awesome is that? That is awesome. Good job, Disney. And both of the mirrors back there in the bathrooms also have that, too. I didn't show you those, but they do have it. Again, everything here is labeled. I love it. Mirror, ceiling, curtain, and balcony. So that's outside on the balcony. Uh, we did get a veranda. Normal drawers like you've seen on every other ship with the little freebies in there. Um, you want to sit and write. This comes out, little stool. It has no back support on it. So that's not very cool, but uh, at least it's there. Um, table. We like the other tables better on the other ships, but this is, this works. This has worked. It is super heavy, though. Even one of the um, room room service attendants commented how heavy it was when I accidentally almost knocked it over in front of him. It was embarrassing. Um, storage here. You can see some stuff we have up. Um, see, I brought a double shot of Crown Neat back to the room. Be drinking that a bit. Um, normal glasses Disney always gives you. I'm not going to open these. Some unmentionables are in there. But I will open this. This is the new refrigerator. Got some water in there right now. So that is that. We are now going to go outside on the veranda. Oop, I hit myself on the door, everyone. We are in port at Nassau right now. So this is the Holland America line. But we're not here for that. But we did get, Sarah, what is it? An extended a bump out? Yeah, it's on the... Out. It has yeah. just a little bit extra square footage on the balcony. Yeah, so, so one of the ones in the ship that kind of juts out. Yeah, so very cool. So it juts out a little bit more. Um, two chairs, comfy. We don't particularly care for the table. We like the ones better on the other ship. The square ones that are a little more bigger provide a little more room, but this works. Works just fine. No real issues with it. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, 
is not a straight line like normal. It does jut out. So I'm gonna do my best and hold on to my phone here and show you a view. There, you see how those are jutting out? Ours are like that in this section right here. So those are all straight and then ours juts out at an angle a little bit more. So going back in. And there we have it. Again, this is on board the Disney Wish, stateroom 7580. And that is it. Have any questions? Leave a comment.